Okay, today is 3.38 p.m., 24 January, Wednesday. We have a disclosure here. Connection, Ninja Trader Broker, time and sell. Get it out of the way. It's 3.39, get it out of the way. What we're looking at, uh, the Ninja Trader 8 swing trading, where it comes with Ninja Trader 7 or Ninja Trader 8, you decide which uh, platform you want to use. As we said before, uh, this one here is straight out of the box, no optimization required, no trail and stop, target, all, stop loss, all of it has been tuned and uh, progr I mean the trader does not need anything to do just straight out of the box activate it that's all what you have to do run it for a few days learn how the market runs and then you can go live with it uh, as we said before in the previous uh, video that if this market moving uh, will be making money if this market is not moving don't take it out on us guys we cannot move the market for you this is the only thing a trader have to comprehend especially amateur traders have to comprehend that if this market moving you are making money with the best professional traders they're not gonna be making more money than you do if this market is not moving you're not making money neither the guy has been trading for 20 years behind the screen is making money so this one here I want to explain a little bit, cover a little bit about the DAX today because for the last few days we've been getting 700, 800, 1000, 600, 700 all, the, all this week. Today finally uh, the DAX moved and the, the best trade for today we have again and that's why I love the minutes. The best trade for today we have is the DAX on the three minutes one trade not in and out of the market one trade folks we enter one trade right after the market open at 939 at 540 and we exit at 393 total profit for that trade is nine thousand one hundred thirty one dollars take a slippage commission tip for your broker you're walking away with this, some serious money based on the three minute and this is not an accident if this market is moving we are nailing it despite the money because sometimes you will be making 200 sometimes you'll be making 2000 the market is comes in every day in a different color in a different mysterious way let's put the numbers on the side Let's look at the entry and the exit. We, the problem is predicting what is about to happen. And this is the most challenge in the market to predict the whole things, the whole industry based on a predicting, not on a MACD following the market. When the market is going up, the MACD or an ATR telling you the market is going up. It's following the market and there is 90% of the traders, they still don't get it. Following the market, trading the future, you're not going to get anywhere. Predicting what we need, it doesn't matter what system, whether it's from us or somebody else, is irrelevant. We need to predict. We don't need to look back because what happened in the back it doesn't matter what it matter right now is the first bar on the right hand chart here this is what is matter so if it's irrelevant I don't want to teach uh, trading on the YouTube but if we look at this entry it happened before the breakout and we have exit the way we have exit here that show you that you have not missed anything on that spike in this market when the market was trending and that is lovely even on the pullback if we notice how the market had jumped all the way to 4 
34, pulling back to the 470, but we stayed on the trend. If you were doing the trailing stop, the dummy trailing stop, you would have got out. If Even if you have the same entry, that trailing stop would have got you out here somewhere, and you would have lost a few takes, and you missed the whole enchilada here. That is the difference between one auto trade and another, and that is what matter when we are trading the minutes. This is what is all about the minutes. So with the Ranko bar, you would have have up and down, up and down, up and down, and that will cut you off many times during the trade. Let's take another example on the 377 ticks. We had a losing trade here. Then we entered the market at 540 and we exit on the first pullback at 433. And this is a 377 take. And this is very nice. Let's take the 150 takes. One trade. We took the first trade at 1021. We exit at 458. And it was done. And this is 150, 150 takes. Uh, we have the volume, and then we have the 288 takes. Let's look at the 288 takes. Also, we have a small losing trade. We enter the market at 546. We exit at 552. Then we enter at 39. And we were done at 1120. We have a lot of requests about um, why don't you try this and this and this. I mean, we've had some traders today that did something different. Let me see if I can find it. We have one guy today. I mean, I don't trade uh, the, uh, the NG, but I also there is no more room to, to put anything. Sam, this auto trade is killing it because this guy just got it yesterday. Just nailed 760 on one contract, NG on th three minutes. Thank you, sir. This is nice to hear from a trader. Appreciate what we are doing. One minute ES. Let's look what happened on the ES, one minute. Fair enough. We had a losing trade at 10.13. At uh, we enter at 52.75, we exit at 51.25. Anyone can afford a couple three takes. Then we enter the market at uh, 8.50 and we exit at 8.39. Nailed 975 on two trade. Thank you very much. Because we hit the target, the auto trade did not continue. And this is the best way to do it. On a moving day like this, on a moving day like this, if you feel like you wanna, you're done early and you still have another hour or so, very simple, right click, reload script, yes, and then you reset the auto trade and then the auto trade start working again. So take seconds, but I strongly advise you uh, trading, there is a lot of risk in the trading, so we should be happy for what we get and call it off. Why am three minutes? I have not looked at the why am today, so we will look at it together. Wow. Okay, I'll take that. We had a. L you see, we have a lot of chops today. Okay, I can accept that. Then when the market start trending, we nailed it. 
we entered at 285, exit at 353, then on the first pullback 26271 and then 26154. If we wanted to continue, we would have entered this market right here and we would have stayed on that trade. But you should, a trader should say enough for today is enough because we don't know in half an hour what will happen in the market, guys. We don't know in the afternoon what will happen. So there is no, practically every instrument has locked the target for today. Uh, we will take also NASDAQ. We will take uh, the one minute on the NASDAQ. Let's look at the NASDAQ one minute. We had a lot of trades today on the NASDAQ. We have to see the good days and the bad days. Very small trades, very small trades. By here you broke even. Very small trades. If you notice nothing, it's 75, 25, 75, one take. Very small trade, 77, 25, nothing. Just covering the commission. Enter at the 77 level get out at uh, we exit at 78.25 the nasdaq is five dollars per take is nothing and then we start when the market start moving we start moving with it and this is a 590 dollars let's say between a slippage and commission uh let's let's put it 90 dollars with a tip for a broker you still can walk away with 500 on the nasdaq so what when the market is moving maybe one time frame is going to make more than the other doesn't matter but they will all make money this one made 790 on the five range let's look the five range also we had a little chop today a lot of trades a lot of trades on the Nasdaq and this is going to happen folks and then when uh, the market is trending we are catching it so I want I want you to see the good side and the bad side if this market moving we are done and over with one trade or two trade or three trades max normally but when the market we we start diving into the turbulence then we're gonna be creating a few trades here and there but the beauty about it the first minute this market is trending here is the problem we don't know when the market is going to spike nobody knows nobody knows let's take one more uh, okay let's take the Russell okay very nice a small sweet trade losing trade and then we enter at 6 12 9 we exit at uh, 6.6 6. and on two trades this one here actually the Russell is pretty good again this is the three minutes folks for the old traders they've been trading behind the computer for a very long time they know uh, the reality on the trend they know the range are good they know the ticks are good or they they are sticking with the one minute or three minutes or five minutes the older traders they know better which one is a good time frame and with the ticks every trader has his own magic number there is some traders maybe they use 244 some of them they use the fib numbers 288 some of them they use uh, uh, different uh, they can go up to 600 700 but um, the only thing it is really respectable for me, uh, first priority is the minutes, and then it comes right after the minutes, my favorite is the takes, and then comes in the range. I'm not a big fan of the range. I like the range before the uh, uh, Renko bar came out, the range uh, charts that were the best to reverse the market but after when the Renko come out, the Renko bars are the best instrument to uh, to uh, reverse the market with. Folks, that's all what we have uh, for today. Uh, God bless you all and see you another day. Bye for now.